Okay, good day, assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to uh, discuss about um, the uh, the module that I assigned you to do. One of the tasks which is practice five for your grammar module. So um, we are going to discuss the answer. So I hope if uh, you are here without answering the questions, just uh, go back and answer the question first. Practice five on page 26 of your module and then come back here for the discussion. Okay. And for those who already answered the question, so feel free to ask question in the group later if uh, after the discussion ended, you are not sure about certain answers. So you can ask me questions in the WhatsApp group later. So let's take a look. Okay, without further ado, let's take a look at the text and then try to answer the question. So uh, <clears throat> as you all know, you have to read the text. Uh, the first line and the last lines are correct. And for the remaining line, there is one grammatical error in each line. So I have uh, making things easier for you by giving you the underlined words. According to the module, there's no underlined word. So you have to find on your own, actually. But I have making things easier for you by giving you the 10 words uh, that you need to replace. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, if we go through the real text, okay, people are too busy to exercise these days. They spend most of their time at school or at working and will not even think about exercising when they finally having some free time. So remember, when you try to answer this kind of question, you have to read until the end of the sentence so that you can identify the type and also the tenses of uh, this text, okay? So if you look at this sentence, they spend most of their time at school or at working, okay? If you look at this sentence, okay, the word school is a noun, and then you have an, a conjunction or over here, okay? At working. So, if the school is a noun, working also should be a, a noun. So, the answer should be work. So, they spend most of their time at school, which is noun, or at work, which is another noun. And will not even think about exercising when they finally having some free time. So you can see another error over there, which is having, okay? When they finally having some free time. If you look at this part of the sentence, can you see any helping verb? Can you see any is, are, was, or were? So there is none, right? If you have is, are, was, were, for example, you have are because you have they, when they are having some free time, then that is correct. But now you don't have the helping verb. You don't have are over here. You only have finally. Okay. So what do you think the answer is? Has or had? So the answer is have. Why have? Why not has? Because they is a plural. So you must use have, and this text is in present tense. That's why you cannot use had. Okay, moving on. Here are a couple of simple ways to solve this problem. Here are a couple simple ways to solve the problem or this problem in this sentence. Okay. So what can you see? Remember, whenever you try to attempt, uh, try to answer this kind of question, look at some keywords. Okay. Maybe there is a keyword for this question. So what do you think the quest, the keyword is? Look at this part of sentence and think of the keyword. Okay, the keyword for this question, okay, is the word to. To 
must be followed by noun in base form, except for gerund. But in this case, okay, to must be followed by a noun in base form. But if we look at this verb, oh, sorry, or must be followed by verb, I'm sorry, verb in base form, okay? Verb in base form. So, ways to solve this problem. So, the answer is S-O-L-V-E, solve. Must be, to must be followed by verb in base form, okay? Next. Okay, moving on to the next paragraph. Walk is the easiest way to exercise and the most hassle-free. Okay, walk is the easiest way to exercise and the most hassle-free. What do you think the answer is? You might think the answer is walks or walked or maybe walking. So how to get this answer how to get the answer okay look at this part of center what is the easiest way to exercise so which one is the subject and which one is the object or maybe this sentence is actually in passive voice so we can change this sentence into the easiest way to exercise is by walking, or the easiest way to exercise is walking. So you can see that the active form of this sentence is actually the easiest way to exercise is. And the sentence presented in this text is actually in the passive voice. Okay, ayat passive. Okay, melakukan dilakukan in bahasa. So the answer for this question is walking. So, walking is the easiest way to exercise and the most hassle-free. Good one. Moving on. During the weekend, go to a short walk around your neighborhood or in the park. So, during the weekend, go to a short walk around your neighborhood or in the park. So, what do you think the answer is? Why two is wrong? Okay, so if two is wrong, what is the correct answer? So you have to remember that when we use go to and then there is a place after the word to, that is to show movement or direction to a place. Okay, pergerakan ke sesuatu tempat. So go to Kuala Lumpur, go to uh, school, go to... Um, Philippines, for example. Okay, so if you go to, that means to show movement or direction to a place. So for this uh, question, you can see that go to a short walk. So a short walk is not a place. That is an action. That is a movement. So if you want to use a noun a short walk is a noun so the most correct answer is go for that's to show purpose of movement okay you move to for a reason okay go to a short walk is wrong so go for a short walk is the correct answer okay so the answer is go for a short walk around your neighborhood or in the park okay so moving on to the next sentence walking did not require any equipment and can be done just by a just about anywhere and any time okay so walking did not require any equipment and can be done just about anywhere and any time remember if you look at the first line of this paragraph of this text, people are too busy. So that means the text is in present tense form. Okay. However, for this uh, error, okay, it stated that uh, the word did is underlined. Did show something happened in past. So it is in past tense form, which is 
wrong. So which one, uh, what, how can we change the word did? Okay, we have do and also uh, does as the, the option. So which one we can use? We, uh, can we use do for this uh, question, for this sentence, or can we use does? Okay. So we're only talking about one particular activity. So the answer is does. Walking does not require any equipment and can be done just about anywhere and any time. Okay. Next. In the next sentence, it stated that walking also helped. Okay. The word help or is the verb, the verb is in past tense form. Help to strengthen your muscles and improve our fitness. So we have help. Remember that the tag is in present tense form. So you can change the word help, okay? The verb in past tense into present tense, which is help. And also, you can see that there is another verb in this text or in this sentence, which is improve without S, okay? So, that's why the answer is help and not helps, okay? Good. Next one. Okay, in the same sentence, you can see that uh, walking also helps to strengthen your muscles and improve our fitness okay so you have conjunction and but suddenly you change the the pronoun from your to our okay so we have to uh, maintain the same pronoun because they are in the same sentence with the conjunction and uh, combining these sentences okay so the answer is your so improve sorry strengthen your muscles and improve your fitness okay next sweeping the floor and dusting the furniture at home is also a form of exercise okay so you have sweeping the floor and also you have furniture okay so furniture with an s that means furniture is, is in plural form, correct? No, okay. We don't have furniture in plural form, okay. There's no plural form for furniture. Even though you have a lot of furniture, you have cupboard, you have table, you have chairs at home, okay. That is individual furniture, okay. But now we are talking about the group, okay, the collective noun, furniture. Okay, that, that this is the, the category, okay, or the group, okay, all this uh, cupboard, uh, table, chair, they all fall under the same group, which is called as furniture. So we don't have the plural form for furniture. So the answer is sweeping the floor and dusting the furniture at home is also a form of exercise. Good. Next. The next sentence, research has showing that one hour of housework will burn 207 calories, which was the same amount you burn when exercising at the gym for 20 minutes. Okay, so mm -hmm. what, what do you think the answer is? Okay, what, what the key what what is the keyword that you can see in this sentence? Okay. So what I can see is the word has. Okay when you have the word has okay, and followed by the verb the verb must be in present perfect tense okay so the answer that is correct is research has shown that one hour of housework will burn 207 calories which was the same amount yada, yada, yada. okay and finally we have which was the same amount you burn when exercising uh, at the gym for 20 minutes. So remember that this text, when you read earlier, okay, the tense is uh, 
past uh, present tense sorry the tense is present tense so we have to stick to present tense until the end okay except when we are recalling or recounting an event okay so uh, the answer was is in past tense we have to change into present tense which is is okay so the correct sentence is research has shown that one hour of housework will burn 207 calories which is the same amount you burn when exercising at the gym for 20 minutes okay so you have all your answers you have the first answer is uh, work and then you have number two have number three solve number four walking number five four number six you have does next you have help h-e-l-p you have uh, your the next sentence the next answer then you have furniture without s at the end uh, the next one is shown as h o w n and finally the answer is is so that uh, those all the answers for this practice number 5 okay so if you happen to be here without answering the question please uh, answer the question first and then um, go through the explanation the the uh, discussion of the answers and then try to understand if you do not understand you have not clear with my explanation uh, you can ask me in the group later on okay so um i guess uh, that's all okay if you have uh, questions uh, you can ask me on my facebook or you can email me or you can whatsapp me anytime um please do not delete your message before i meet an attempt to answer your questions okay so that's all for today thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and um bye bye thank you